Hey everyone, how are you doing? How how has your week been? <laughs> week, it's been ages, I'm sorry. Um, I was just finding it hard to uh, get back into the routine of doing it. And um, there's so much judgment from myself on everything that I do that sometimes I just don't do it because I think, well, if I don't do it, then nothing can go wrong. So I just avoid and I said I wasn't going to do that with this channel because I just wanted it to, to just be what I wanted it to be. And already I've just kind of thought, oh, it's not good enough. It's not good enough. So then I was like, I'll leave it a little bit longer till I post. And then it's kind of got away with me. And now it's been like three weeks or something. So I'm really sorry about that. Um, but mental illness is a bit of a bitch um you know some days I mean every every person experiences mental illness differently some days for me like I'll have like a really good day when I can get loads of stuff done have a real sense of achievement and other days I just fall into the I'm not going to get out of bed today thing and that's what so far I'm doing. I mean, I will get out of bed in a minute because I'm going to take Baxter for a walk. I'll maybe take you with me if you want. Um, so today I think I'm just going to do like a vlog style thing. Like I did start to prepare some of the heavier stuff videos, but they're also triggering. And I'm trying to put them together in a way that isn't triggering for you guys. But I appreciate that it probably will be. And I think I'm just trying to do my usual just... I don't want to, I don't want to upset me, and I don't want to upset anyone, not that I'm trying to, but some of the stuff I want to talk out, I mean, you know, I will put trigger warnings and stuff, but I know I said, oh, I've got so many videos, and it's like, I made a list, and I wrote down loads of video ideas, but I just, my brain is now like, they're all shit, they're all rubbish, so just stop. Look at how old this t-shirt is. It's it's like it's not white anymore. It's Paul Weller. Mm, I love him. He's on my booby. Um, yeah, it's from a gig I saw in like two thousand and seven, I think. Um, I love Paul Weller. Mm. Anyway, um, so yeah, I just thought I'd do like a little catch up today really I just I've been so triggered by everything that's been going on at the moment that I I'm just hiding away and I just thought oh, I'll just do a video of me hiding away because that's a lot of my mental illness is hiding and avoiding and running away and cancelling on people and I think the thing is like when I cancel on people I think they think it's because of them and it never is it never ever 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 is it, it's not about not wanting to be around them it's not about you know not wanting you know just because I don't like them or I don't care about them or anything but there's just something in my brain that kind of alerts me that this is dangerous you could you know you could something bad could happen you know I, and Sometimes I think, well, if I just stay in bed, then nothing bad can happen. But then at the same time, nothing happens. And before you know it, I've been on TikTok for like two hours or something like that, or on YouTube or Twitter or something like that. Obviously not Instagram, because I hate Instagram and Facebook. Um, no offence if you like those platforms. Um... Yeah, so I just, I, like I say, I, I'm, I'm trying to just put content up that I hope will help. If it doesn't help, I'm, I'm sorry. But I think it's kind of important to understand that this whole kind of not wanting to get out of bed and the avoidance thing is like a safety thing. And because of stuff that's happened to me in the past, um, I there's a part of me that stops trusting people and it's not like it's obvious like it's a conscious I don't trust them 
but there's something in my deep sort of subconscious that's like, whoa, this could be dangerous. Don't do it. Something could go wrong. You know, you'll either have a panic attack or you'll say something stupid or you'll fall over or, you know, you'll embarrass yourself or you'll wet yourself or something. Um, so I, yeah, so I've cancelled on loads of people this week. Um, and people I really care about, you know, I mean, I care about most people. Well, I do care about people in my life. Um, but, oh, fucking, oh, language. <coughs> okay. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know what the fuck this video is. <laughs> so, yeah, this is me. It's, what time is it? Oh, it's 25 past nine. So I've been up since about about quarter past seven. So that's kind of when Andy's getting up and doing stuff. And then I take Baxter out for a wee and a toilet. I don't know what my phone's doing now. It's fanning about. Um, so I take him out and then... Come and he comes and has his breakfast, and then he usually has a little sleep with me on the bed. But he's sleeping downstairs today. <laughs> he does love his own space, which is really cool actually. Because I, I like. Oh, I'm making so much noise. I'm so sorry. Oh, that was really loud. <sighs> um. Yeah. So. Oh, what was I saying? Yeah. So I, I'm. This is me when I'm not sad, I'm not down, but it's the depression, lack of motivation, and then it just turns into like severe procrastination and trying to do stuff is just impossible. But you know what that's like. Um, I imagine some of you may be still in your bed right now as you watch this video and still kind of like debating when to get out of bed and debating whether to shower or not so um how, how do you cope with these sort of days when you're kind of like you're not like really poorly but you're not great you're just kind of bleh I think for me it becomes quite debilitating and almost counterproductive because I end up feeling worse about myself for staying in bed but then if I get out of bed something bad's gonna happen if I don't get out of bed I'll just rot <laughs> so what do you do with that you just gotta kind of I don't know try and get up <laughs> uh, some people just think it's so easy just to be like oh, I'm just gonna get out of bed now you know it's it's really not it's really not that easy um when you've got a lot of stuff going on in your head it's so easy to just hide and avoid but actually going out and doing stuff can give you a real sense of achievement and if i didn't have baxter right now i probably wouldn't be going out and i would quite happily stay in this bed but i will take him out i'm nearly 38 and i can't take care of myself <laughs> and people are like oh why don't you want kids <clears throat> it's like, because I can't take care of myself, let alone uh, a vulnerable baby that needs me all the time. I just kind of think, you know, we all go through days like this where it's like, eh, eh. And you're just like, oh, I'll start again tomorrow. But then I do that and I don't start again the next day. I think, OK, I'll start again next week. I think the problem I'm having at the moment is I've got a lot of, a lot of hormonal stuff going on um, to do with my cycle. And I think that's making things a lot harder. And I forget a lot of the time that I have, you know, sort of chronic illnesses like endometriosis and fibromyalgia. And they hurt and they make me tired. And then I beat myself up if I'm tired and if I need a nap. Can you see that little bug? Are you joking? I love all animals. Um, 
Yes, I am. Now I've distracted myself. God, I've distracted so easily. It's unreal. I mean, I've, oh, I just can't stay focused to anything, as you can tell. I just feel like I'm always in this sort of foggy brain. Like I can't function. I can't focus. Just a new brain would be nice. A new brain, a new nose would be nice. That bug's like hanging around now. Yeah, there he is. Or she. Or they. <laughs> so when you have days like this, when you're like, eh, I'll get out of bed eventually. Do you ever get out of bed? Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I will go out on a walk and then come back and get into bed. Um, but it's silly because... I, yeah, I'm just like, do you guys do this? Do you get? Do you have days when it's just bed all day, and you, your self care is pretty <clears throat> non-existent? Yeah, I'm vibing that right now. <laughs> I'm supposed to be doing more things, and all I want to do is cancel. All I want to do is hide away, and I just, I don't know. So yeah, do you have days where you just spend all day in bed? Or you, you know, you manage to get out for a bit and then like, I'm staying in bed now. Do you kind of have that initial like, oh, I've cancelled, I'm free, I can avoid and I can stay in bed. And you have that initial like, yes, I could do what I want now, which is nothing. What else do you do when you have these days? Do you like make a little camp in your bed and get everything you want around you? Sometimes I get my crochet out, um, crochet. I like to put podcasts on. What do you do? Do you watch films? Do you sleep? Do you eat loads? Do you not eat? Um, do you do you then wait for the guilt to set in like I do? Which will probably set in when I come back from my walk with the Baxter and I've cancelled on people and then I'm like, okay, so what do I do now? Feel sorry for myself? Great. And of course, when you're left alone with you know, on your own, you're left alone with thoughts, you're just kind of like, great, now I've got to think about stuff. I've noticed that recently, like, the more silent things are, the harder it is. I need some sort of music, otherwise it's just intrusive thought, intrusive thought, intrusive thought, or flashback, or, or whatever. Well, this video's gone on for a long time, I have absolutely no idea what I've been talking about, but I hope it's made you feel less alone, that some thing is talking to you and saying hey I'm doing this too and it's okay but yeah tell me about your days in bed because I like to think of my bed as a, a sanctuary but often it becomes a prison a prison of my own making that I just think if I stay here nothing bad is going to happen but as I said before nothing happens if I stay in bed I don't have that balance. I think if I had some sort of balance in my life, eh, I've never had balance in my life. I'm never gonna have balance in my life. Um, yeah, I might take you on the walk for a bit. It's already a twenty-minute video, but hey, if you're still watching after this point and you're not bored and you haven't unsubscribed, then great. No, Gemma, this video. This is about. It's not about pleasing everybody. It's just about putting something out there that I think might help. And if you see me looking like this, with a dirty t-shirt that used to be white, that's got some sort of old hot rock burn in it from years ago, then you kind of think, hey, she's all right, so I'm all right. And that is ultimately the purpose of this video today. I know it's been like, it took me a bloody long time to get to the point, because I was like... Where am I going with this? I genuinely think if you have days like this, really try not to beat yourself up. You're, it's. I often think it's your body's way of saying you need to rest. And sometimes, you know, the world is scary. The world is horrible. The people out there are horrible. Not everybody. Um, I would say even for the most part, most people are nice people. But in my head, there's scary people out there and... If I stay in this bed, I don't have to face them. Why do you stay in bed? Are you avoiding something? 
are you running away from something, hiding from something? Or are you just like, I just want to sleep, bitch? <laughs> then I get you with that one too. But yeah, maybe I'll take you on a walk in a minute. I mean, I'll try and keep this video short, but I'm doing what I want now. <laughs> no, seriously, it is about you guys too, but I've got to keep some sort of control over this so I don't go into that place where I went with the vlog before and just churn out loads of videos that are subpar quality. I'm just going to churn out less videos that are subpar quality. <laughs> So yeah, actually, do you know what? Talking to you guys has really cheered me up and I'm now going to get out of bed. And although I showered last night and washed my hair, not that you'd think it because it's in this bloody state, I'm going to get in the shower again and I'm going to brush my teeth, I'm going to floss my teeth, I'm going to mouthwash, deodorant, I'm going to do my skincare. Um, oh, I don't know if that's something you'd want to watch. Maybe it is. Maybe I'll do that another time. Let me know if you want to see that. How a depressed person gets out of bed and gets on with their day. Yeah, let me know if you want to see that. But yeah, I'll take you out on a walk in a bit. But yeah, I'm going to go and get up. You don't have to get up though. If you want to stay in bed for a bit longer, great. But I'll tell you what, do this one thing for me, for yourself. Just find one task smaller the better <laughs> but no seriously find a task something that maybe you just think if I got that done I could relax a little bit more maybe it's doing a load of washing like um, washing up in the sink maybe it's putting a load of clothes in the wash and washing them maybe it's just whizzing the hoover around the hallway or um or doing a bit of meditation or some yoga or I'm making so much fucking noise with these things um yeah or do some yoga or you know go and do something in the house that you want to do or in your bedroom maybe it's like clearing off your desk and cleaning your desk it doesn't have to be a cleaning task I've just listed cleaning tasks but or something creative maybe you like music or put some nice music on or you love films put a good film on you know Try and, if you are making your bed your home for the day, which then there's nothing wrong with that, then make it nice for yourself. Don't, if you've made that decision, you've cancelled your plans and now you've decided to be in your bed, don't beat yourself up about it. P please, please don't. I do. But actually sometimes we just need to be in bed and just hide away. And if people think, oh, it's such a waste of your life, blah, 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 well, that's fine for them. They don't have often debilitating illnesses, physical, mental illnesses that make you want to stay in bed. So just kind of be kind to yourself. That's a huge thing with living with your own mental health problems is about learning to be kind to yourself and saying, do you know what? Today it's not going to happen. So in that case, make today a nice day for you. Do something nice for yourself in bed. That sounds wrong. <laughs> Sorry, I've got such a smoker's cough. <coughs> and a smoker's laugh. It's disgusting. Um, don't start smoking ever. Don't start smoking. Just don't do it. Um, yeah, so make it nice for yourself in bed. Um, do something fun. <laughs> I don't know. And if you want to get up, get up. But if you don't, don't. I'm going to get up now because I actually need to pee. But I also know there's a furry little monkey man downstairs that is like, I want to go on a walk now. And like I say, if it wasn't for him, I would be in this bed. So get a dog. <laughs> well, no, I know not everyone can, but having an animal does make things a lot nicer because then when I get sleepy and he goes up with me it's just the best feeling so yeah that's enough of my hideous face I will take you a little bit on the walk I don't know what this video is going to look like at the end but this is me this is me rambling as always because that's just who I am and I spent so many years hating who I am and I've I've got to accept who I am and I'm not 
are not neurotypical. And that's fine. And some days I can't get out of bed and that's fine because I know that either the next day or the day after that or even the week after that, there will be a time when I will get out of bed and function and be part of normal society. And if that's not your day to do that today, don't do it. You have my permission. Just make it nice for yourself and don't beat yourself up about it. We all need to take a mental health day. We all need to have a day in bed sometimes. Even people, like I say, neurotypical people need to have a day off. Looking after our mental health is so important because it has such an impact on the rest of our our physical being, the people around us, people we work with, our relationships, our family, our friends. And if we're not taking care of ourselves, we can't really be there for anyone else. And that's what I've realised. Like, I'm not, I've never sort of been that good for anyone else because I've always been focusing on my stuff, which has made me kind of come across a bit selfish and self-absorbed. Right, yeah, so have a nice, <coughs> have a nice time in bed. If you're getting up now, let's get up together. If you're not getting up now, then get up whenever you want. Just don't beat yourself up. Please. It's not worth it. Those negative thoughts are coming from your own guilt. Oh, no. Ah. Yeah, so do what you need to do to make yourself feel better. On that note, I uh, will... um, catch up with you in a bit on the dog walk it'd probably be like two seconds because this video is half an hour long (laughs) uh, shall i edit it i could edit it i suppose if anyone's still here watching this i salute you take care guys um yeah i'll catch up with you in a bit hey so i thought you want to walk um i'm in the middle of a wood just completely on my own. Well, apart from him. Oh, look at his little wiggly bum. So I'm just, um, took him a while to get going this morning, much like me. So we, uh, got about, went out a bit later. But I think, yeah, I spoke, I was recording about half nine and it's about quarter past eleven now. And I'm just on a walk, on a hike. Probably going to do about an hour, maybe and 20 something like that i've just got to walk up that hill now so i don't think you want heavy breathing down the camera but yeah because the rest of my video is so long i'm just going to sign off here but if you can't get out of bed today don't worry you can try tomorrow if you don't tomorrow don't worry you will eventually get out of bed one will always manage to get out of bed oh that's nice with flair so don't beat yourself up if you can't do anything today. If you can get outside, be with some nature, that helps. Be with an animal, that helps. Just take care of yourself and be kind. And uh, that's how bright it is. So yeah, <laughs> be kind to yourself. Um, and just remember that mental illness is like a marathon, not a sprint. And some days you will be able to keep up with everybody and other days you won't and it really doesn't matter I'm trying not to compare myself to other people now but it is quite hard look I'm actually walking up the hill I'm not out of breath yet oh no I am now so yeah I'm, it's so lovely today the sun's out again and after it's been raining for ages so really chuffed with that god I just don't shut up do I so yeah that's I call this the sunken woods because it's it drops down but he's having a lovely time. Not sure sniffins. So take care, guys. Um, thanks for watching. <sighs> thanks for watching whatever video this was. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you.